the real project of social change requires lots of different kinds of activities. So it requires organizing and media activity and fundraising and consciousness raising and rest. And, but not many of us can be great at all of those things at the same time. There's often really not an opportunity to talk to your colleagues, to actually have a conversation, because the focus is always on the task at hand, and every day there's a task at hand. I, I go 100 miles an hour every day at my job, and I'm plugged in all the time. So for me personally, I finally get to unplug and focus on what I need and connect with incredible people and connect with the land. Is that it's a real chance to get away from whatever it is you're doing on a regular basis to let your hair down, to let your mind and your body and your soul and your heart and your being expand in the, in the midst of these wonderful trees and the ocean and the eagles, but most of all with yourself. There's something about the space that I don't understand. I hesitate to call it magic, but there's something about this space and being in such a beautiful, pristine location that um, makes it uh, transformative for people. The biggest single thing for me is seeing the shift in so many of people that I met three years ago internally and in terms of the work that we're doing. There's some very interesting research about the the critical factors that make social change happen, big global change, and one of the key functions that people are beginning to identify is the convening role. We talk quite a lot about trying to move people past. I think we're coming to a place where our heroes are people who can convene, bring people together and solve problems in a creative way where the parties involved have an investment in the outcome and are committed to work together and have a relationship that can sustain them. Thanks for doing this. And I think it helps us feel connected to something larger than ourselves, which we need in order to not uh, get paralyzed by our isolation. To commune, to, to break bread with, with colleagues, uh, to get affirmation uh, for, for times when you're, you know, you're feeling a little bit down. A real sense of connection, uh, uh, validation for me and the work that I do, and um, A sense that this was this was my community, my tribe. You know, more than more than I get at home. What Hollyhock allows to happen so well is for people to hold each other's hands and say, "I'm with you, sister. I'm with you, brother. We will make it together in this long, crazy journey through life."